Got Talent has found its winner. All eyes are on the other big competition of the year. Entries were never-ending and efforts unquestionably brilliant. And now judges have whittled the competition down to eight finalists. But only one winner will go home with the title of Shed of the Year. <laughs> There have been some fantastic entries, including this TARDIS shed and this Queen Emma Galleon. Uh, but the overall winner will be announced on July the 1st. Can't wait! <laughs> so what, which of these sheds appeals to you and which one would you have as the winner? I have to ask you first, Jane. What, what about Ed? Me, 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 me. I've, I've advocated sheds for long you enough. You have? And I am very Otherwise, excited. where would Ed go? I know Ed would have nowhere to go in the world. And he's got his little shed and I'm very pleased. In fact, he's, he's, he's actually moved on to a greenhouse as well now, ladies. Oh, it's going very good. Tell you what, He's expiring Chatton. his property empire, isn't he? <laughs> yes, greenhouse. What next? A compost oh, bin? Oh, ladies. <laughs> you'd be the first to know. <laughs> I like the workshoppy one. Okay. Because I think men need somewhere to put the tools That's and the good. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice that, isn't it? You know, you could have a little sink and electricity in there. Yeah. And, uh, I like the gorilla keeping guard. That's great. Right. <laughs> but I think that's lovely. I love that smell of wood. You know, that... Sure. That, and it's a bit of a no it's not a kink but it's just <laughs> i like that smell of wood you know and it's it's nice that's his that's his, his domain face, yeah. well i've looked at them all and to me they're all a bit low tech and fussy if i'm going to be really <laughs> brutally honest with you if i had to choose for a shed i like the idea of the garden office shed somewhere you go to work yeah. at, at the bottom of the garden but the actual one in the competition is not to my taste i'd like a white minimalist box mm. in my architect designed um, shed and I'd like it to have one way glass, great big thing so I can look at everyone going past and nobody can see me sitting there in my old knickers and <laughs> bra having a fat day yeah. <laughs> Janet, I think that's a good thing yeah, yeah, I think it's good I like the idea of sheds, they do fulfil a useful purpose, don't they? they soak up men all over the country, <laughs> give them somewhere to go and sit in, they shut the door, they pretend they're working, we know they're doing absolutely nothing <laughs> idea there's there's one that looks like i think it, it, it's called the summer house type but to me it sort of looks almost like a romany gypsy caravan Ooh, type of thing. It, it's like do you remember i always wanted to be laura ingalls wilder on little house in the prairie I, I, honestly i used to practice for ages doing that <laughs> she runs down the hill so i i would like that one i know it's a bit useless because you can't put shelves up in it because of the curved walls can't but i think either. i like the idea of you'd go in there almost with an old-fashioned typewriter and tap away so there's no internet because i try and write and twitter gets in the way netta porter um so i, I like the idea of, sort of hiding away putting some sweet peas up the side maybe some trellis a glass, glass of wine where's it gone <laughs> well since i i've always wanted to be doctor who uh -huh. i want the tardis as a shed look time and relative dimension in shed <laughs> You can't see it, but why would I want it? Because in there, I can go anywhere. I've in got some time brilliant space. wallpaper. There's a photograph of the inside of the TARDIS. I'll, I'll get some for you. And then you decorate it, and it's really like you're there. It's not oh. real. It is real. <laughs> it's not. It, it is What's real. What's the point of that? There's no room in it. Well, no, there's loads you of room in a TARDIS. There there's loads that. of room in a TARDIS. Because, you know, the outside is small, but the inside access to the universe space for my rubbish space for my clothes yeah. space for everything brilliant <laughs> love it <laughs> right after the break we will be breaking bread with spandau ballet star martin